Welcome everyone. Today's fear and greed is showing 24 out of 100 or extreme fear in the market. The top news for this Sunday include investors lament potentially lost millions on Voyager bankruptcy. One user, referred to as Robert for anonymity purposes, stated he put roughly six figures on Voyager, representing 70% of his life savings, and feels lost on what to do moving forward. Many investors are reeling from Voyager Digital's recent bankruptcy filing, with some claiming to have either millions worth of crypto assets or most of their life savings locked on the crypto exchange. US dominates crypto ATMs installations and BTC hash rate worldwide. With China out of the competition, the US picked up the slack to become the highest BTC hash rate contributor representing 37.84% of the total mining power by January 2022. BTC bull Michael Saylor, Ethereum is obviously a security. The MicroStrategy CEO argued that ETH is a security as it was issued via an ICO and its network has had many fundamental changes over the years. MicroStrategy CEO and Bitcoin bull Michael Saylor said that Ethereum is obviously a security as he doubled down on labeling BTC as the only commodity in the crypto sector. Quote, I think Ethereum is a security, I think it's pretty obvious, it was issued by an ICO, there's a management team, there was a pre-mine, there's a hard fork, there's continual hard forks, there's a difficulty bomb that keeps getting pushed back. Fed Vice Chair says crypto needs regulation now before it threatens stability of financial system. The Vice Chair of the Federal Reserve is reportedly saying that crypto regulations need to be enacted now before the digital assets industry threatens the stability of the entire financial system. According to a new report by CNBC, Fed Vice Chair Lael Brainerd says that although the digital asset space has the potential to disrupt the financial system, she highlights the significance of regulating the nascent industry while it is still relatively small. Finally, crypto is trying out traditional finances failures in hyperspeed, but it's going to be fine, says George Kalaudis. And that is all for today's news. Share your opinions in the comments below and drop a like. Check the links in the description for more details. See you tomorrow.